What's up everybody, Tyler here from Ghosts, coming at you with an unboxing and assembly video for your mail tray base. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna go through an unboxing and just cover everything that you should have received in your package. So we'll go ahead, we'll pop this box open. So as you can see, this is what your package should look like once you open it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay everything out on the table and just cover everything that you should have received. So now that we have everything unpacked and unwrapped, Here's what you should have received. We have one mayo tray base plate. We have four legs, two leg brackets, four casters, one foot lever assembly, one main tube assembly, and your hardware and tooling kit. Now, before we get started, I'm just gonna unpack your hardware and tooling kit and just cover what should be included in that as well. All right, now that we have our hardware and tooling kit unpacked, uh, this is what should come in the bag. You have two wrenches, two Allen keys, 14 bolts, 10 nuts, and three screws. And with that, let's get assembling. What you wanna do first is we are going to grab our main tube assembly and our two foot mounting brackets. Set it like that, like so. Use one of your bolts and just thread that into place. Uh, and you wanna take note that the fingers of your bracket are facing towards the top. So one goes there, flip it over, and one goes on this side. Thread that one into place. And what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and we'll finger tighten everything for now. And at the very end, we'll just go through and we'll tighten everything with the two wrenches. Once your two foot mounting brackets are in place, now you can grab your legs, take your legs, put your leg into the slot, put your bolts in, and then on the opposite side, thread in your nuts. And then just repeat this process for the remainder of your legs. So now that you have all of your legs installed, we can go in, use our wrenches and tighten everything down. So what we'll do first is we'll tighten the legs, take your two wrenches, one on one side, one on the other side, and just tighten everything down like so. And we will Repeat this for every one of the legs. And now once we have all of our legs installed onto the brackets, we can go in now and tighten our two bracket bolts. And for these ones in particular, you wanna give them a good, a nice good tighten just to hold everything together. One and two. Once that's done, now we can assemble our foot lever. How you do this is you take two bolts and you can see there are two bolt holes there and they match up with two mounting holes on the bottom of your base. So you set this like so, actually angle it for the camera, right on there, pretty straightforward. Thread your bolts, take your wrench and take a note, both wrenches are the same size. so. No confusion there. Just go ahead and tighten this all the way down. And again, just give those a good tighten. Once your foot lever is installed, you can go ahead and take all four of your wheels and those just pop in place like so. One, two, one, two. Once your feet are installed, now you can go ahead, flip it upright and done correctly, right, your foot lever should activate your gas strut. And we'll go ahead, we'll push this back down just to get back in view. And the last step in the process is taking your mayo tray base plate, lining up your logo with your foot lever. And you'll notice there are two mounting holes on the top of your tube assembly, and those line up with the two holes on your base plate. So those go like that. You take your two screws. These are your countersunk screws. And those thread in straight to the top, like so. For the front camera, you go there, you grab one of your Allen keys, and you tighten those down. Give that a good tighten. And with that, you're done. That's your mayo tray base. Now, if you ordered a mayo tray, I'm sure you ordered a top as well. Your tops come in packaging that looks like this. This is a simple tear away 
a Ziploc baggie, tear off the top, open it up, pull out your mayo tray, simple as that. And this simply attaches to the top. And there you go. That is your ghost tattoo mayo tray. All right, if you guys have any questions at all, feel free to visit our website, reach out to us at the email below. And again, thank you for your support.